Yo, what's the drill? So I got a story out of Gwinnett County. Listen, man. <laughs> Sometimes we only talking about YSL, those gangs you've always heard of. But there's some other cats out here that's making noise, too. Look at this. A major gang bust in Gwinnett County. The sheriff's office there says they arrested 47 members of the dangerous Serenos gang. Deputies tell us this was, a, was the culmination of a nine-month investigation. Investigators seized 14 guns, more than 400 pounds of meth, 81 pounds of cocaine, and more than 300. You know, I'm just trying to do my content a little bit differently because not all gang members are black. And I do see everybody want to watch the stories about the black gang members. But man, they everywhere. And they're every race. And so I'm going to keep on chipping away at it till I get the job done. So let's take a look at this gang, man. This is the real issue when it comes to like policing and stopping gang violence. It's so many different ones all over the country. You don't know who's who. And they're identifying themselves, of course, in the end. But there's levels of investigation, I'm sure, that last months and years into these crimes, these cases, these different stories that they end up usually bringing together for a RICO. Because that's all you can do when you got 40, 50 people all charged with pretty much the same crimes. Yeah, see, this one of them busts where they giving each other high fives and, you know, they know they hit a real lick. Everybody's happy. They celebrating. This is a proud moment for the police because these aren't everyday busts. And when you can take down 47 people and tie them all to a street gang, again, for the department, that looks good on paper. Now, what comes of that is another topic, but on paper and putting a story out, it looks like they put a dent in some of the gangs. Now, listen, man, I know we put a lot of emphasis on the rappers and the telling on yourself and all of that, but even if you ain't rapping, even if you ain't telling on yourself, they coming to get you. It does seem like Atlanta is on a mission to clean up a lot of this violence that is done and perpetuated by gangs. But it don't seem to be stopping it, though. There's a lot that I see coming out of Atlanta in terms of trying, but it might be a lot more of the element there than what they can withstand as far as trying to stop it. And that's what's going on all over the country. Now this is 50 members, fam, 50. Okay, so you would think that this should wipe out a whole block, right? Just wipe out the whole hood. They come and snatch up 50 people. And they can only hope it works that way, but that might only be a third of them. And I'm sure they did all of their investigative work and got who they could. But these cats be linked to the cartel. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on with these drug rings and gang rings than what the surface level can ever tell you. And when I see a spectacular record-breaking bust, you always assume somebody told. Right, they just happen to get everybody as soon as the load come in. Right, it's, it's always when these cats then read up and they got massive amounts of the drugs. They never do a raid when a person is almost running out. They always doing the raid when the, the new shipment coming in. So either they were watching that close or they got an inside man. And I'm always leaning toward an inside man because people be trying to get out of traffic tickets and all type of stuff. Be careful who you linking with.